Hey y'all, it's Blue. Hope that you're well. Um, it is Sunday. I'm feeling much better today. Yesterday I wasn't feeling so well. Today I'm feeling better. And so I've been having this on my mind, but I need to go ahead and just do this now. It's so much. It's going to be random. I'm just going to flow. Just hope y'all can flow with me. With all that this, all that that is going on, with this stuff with Diddy, I need to remind you all to not get lost in the sauce, right? I know it's sensational. I know that you know it's a reckoning that's happening, but don't get so lost in the sauce. You've got a gazillion different people capitalizing on this because that's exactly what it is who's giving out different information saying different things making their own assessments and I, I can appreciate the times that we're in where we're able to do that and do that freely but it's up to us and it's up to you and especially us as star seeds, as people of a different calling to not get lost in the sauce I keep hearing like I said I'm flowing I keep hearing well, cat called it, cat called it. No. <laughs> Those of us who've been in the notes, been knowing. Those of us who follow the skies and follow the stars and follow the, the planets and how they move, we saw it coming. How many times have I told y'all that there was going to be this, this incredible upset? How many times have y'all heard me talk about Pluto's coming? What, since last year? Those of us who stay connected to ethereal cords. This is nothing new to us, but what, and now I'm appealing to people who are like me, who are of a certain calling because I got lost in the sauce, <laughs> right? And the message came to me is don't forget why we brought you here. Don't get lost in this shit. We still have work to do. I need y'all to look past the sensationalism. Usually when things like this happen, there are other things that are happening that doesn't get the level of coverage, that doesn't get exposed as much as it should. Let me give you a perfect example. When this Diddy story hit, and some of you know that I am part of a um, of a incredible legal situation where I'm suing a very very huge company and when what happened is when this D Diddy story hit I called some other people who were in this case and said okay when now that this story has taken over the news cycle the other company is gonna make a move. And like clockwork, they made a move, right? The lesson in that is that when shit big like this happens, that there's normally something that's happening under the undercurrents that most people don't see because they're caught up in the sauce. Get out the damn sauce. Let this shit unfold. My, t my YouTube, um, you know, the flow, the, the, you know, when you open it up and it, that's all I see. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I caught myself literally spending hours watching and reading, watching and reading. And then finally the other day, I'm like, enough. I can't. It was my, my, I was short circuiting. I wasn't getting the information that I needed to get. My downloads were like, tap me like, what the hell are you doing? We know what this is, right? This is a, a succession that has happened since Pluto retrograded back into Capricorn. What does that mean? Pluto, death and rebirth, uh, the underworld, um, the exposing of things, the hidden things, death and hell. When it retrograded back into 
Capricorn. What that says is, let me go back into the status quo. Let me go back into the world as it is now because I still have to button up some shit. I have to get people ready for what's coming next, which is this brand new opening of things, a new way of life. When it goes into a transit into Aquarius, my sign, on November 19th and sits there for 20 years. The old guard is saying, I'm not ready to change Capricorn. I'm not ready to let it go. I'm not ready to break down these constructs. I'm not ready to, to, to give up power. And Pluto is saying, you don't have a fucking choice. We gave you years of it. Look what's come of it. And so Pluto had came on to Aquarius to get us, you know, kind of ready for it to see if Capricorn was going to do right and let shit go, but it didn't. So it had to retrograde back into that sucker and says, you know what, let me start cutting off heads. Then you see Biden drop out the race. Then you see Trump have an, have assassination attempts on his life. Heads are about to roll. Now you've got Diddy. Heads are about to roll. The Diddy story, when that came out, Kendrick knew what he was doing when he said he did this last song. Time to watch the part. Uh, watch the party die. Oh, but I keep telling y'all, y'all, y'all don't hear me when I tell y'all. Kendrick is one of us. Kendrick is 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 a visionary. He's got gifts. He sees shit coming. He he sends clarion calls. Let us start listening, like the rest of us who've been listening to him for years, decades, right? So with this Diddy thing, let me just say this and and be done with it. I think the last thing that I'm going to do and say on this Diddy thing, I ordered Kim's book, Kim Porter, God Rest Her Soul, book, who is moving very, very much in the, spirit, in, in the spiritual realm. She's moving. She's making, she's, she's, she is making sure the voices are heard, right? So this book that's come out, I ordered it from T, uh, Tisa Tells. I follow her very closely. Shout out to Tisa Tells because I feel that her work is authentic and she makes the right connections and she's entertaining. And so she had a link to get the book to which I got and my last thing that I'm going to talk about from a sensationalism point of view with this Diddy stuff is I'm going to read her book and I'll read it online here. After that, anything that else that I bring to y'all about this Diddy stuff is going to be connecting the dots from an ethereal, from a spiritual, from a galactic, from a prophetic point of view. That being said, when I looked at Diddy's mugshot, everybody kept saying, oh, he has, there, you know, there's no soul in his eyes. That's a lie. Let me tell you what you're looking at. What you're looking at when you see that mugshot. I actually saw the face of a demon trying to emerge from his face, like trying to get out because he, the, 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 the demonic spirit knows that locked up it can't do anything you understand I mean when I looked at his face I mean it's like I can see the horns or whatever right about here when I looked at that that's what I saw like let me get out of this this body because locked up in here I can't do shit that's what I saw with that what I also saw considering his eyes I didn't see that it, there was no soul. No, what I saw was soul searching to the point of do I, how do I end my life? Or is my life going to be ended for me? That's what I see in his eyes. Mm -hmm. I see in his eyes that that's exactly, I saw him searching. How do I do this? How do, how do I, how do I, how do I end this life? He knows a lot of people. He's got dirt on a lot of people. He is no different 
or in the position that he's in, he is in a, a, the same predicament that Epstein was in. Epstein held, held a lot of people's bones, held a lot of people's information, right? And contrary to popular belief and how they expose it, he was murdered. That was not a suicide. So Diddy has a whole lot going on right now. And beyond that, going through withdrawal. So now that he's going through these withdrawals, which he won't be for long, somebody will end up getting dope to him in, in the pen. Anything that you can find in the street, you can find in jails, period. Those who know, know. But as he's coming off of this and his body is detoxing from this, he's having to face things that he hasn't been able to face in decades. And it's going to be tough for him to take. The suicide watch is appropriate. But he's scared to do it too. And I kept hearing in my spirit, if, 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 I don't get out of this, I'll end it. I look for him to cut a deal, something like that, if he can, if he gets a chance to, because cutting a deal means he's got to talk. And that means a whole lot of people, powerful people will be exposed from Clive Davis on down, LaGrange on down. Everybody keeps jumping to, to Jay-Z. Jay-Z got different kind of money, different kind of billions. Jay-Z goes, goes jogging with white billionaires. He's got a level of, of protection and guidance that I feel that even Diddy doesn't have or didn't have. Jay-Z is also smart, right? The person that you need to be concerned about is 50, 50 Cent. And let me tell you why. 50 Cent almost lost his life a few times, being shot up like that. What kind of deal has he made? With who? To be able to go scot-free. You think his hands are clean? No. Nobody with that kind of money, that kind of influence, is absolutely clean. Now, it may be that on a physical plane that he maybe hasn't done anything to the likes of Diddy or Epstein, Clive, and all these other, Andre Harrell and all them. But what deal did you make, 50? Where you could be almost murdered, come out scot-free and taunt people and make fun of people and be an instigator of mess and not have to answer for it. The Yami say you will. The good witches say you will. Pluto is gonna uncover that too. You heard it here. I'm not gonna be like these other people who are go who sit here and wait till after shit happen and then confess I said this, I said. No, I'm gonna tell you before it happens. So get ready for the shit to hit the fan for him. And then the nail that was in the coffin is if he had this movie of exposure and sold it to this Netflix like I'm hearing. Now you're, you're, you're capitalizing off of it in a way and bearing, in a sense, false witness because you weren't there and capitalizing on it. They're gonna. Your next fifty. You gotta. You gotta pull off of that. That energy. They don't like you. They don't like you. Putting that energy out there. But see, you've made some deals with some folks. Some energies. Some entities. Yeah. That's gonna be uncovered. Blood in, blood out. I'm just speaking. As they give it to me.
as I reel this back in and try to get this to a close because I got things to do. The message here is, again, don't get lost in the sauce and stay on your purpose and your plan. I fell off. I got into it. I'm, I, I had to back the fuck off. And I have to get back to the father's business. I have to get back. I had to get back to pouring into people's lives, to sharing the things that I hear. Because y'all, what you don't understand is that the world as we know it is in the process of changing on a level that has never been seen. And and to our star seeds and people of, of a different calling, people are gonna be looking for us to help us, help them understand what the fuck is going on. So what we need to be doing right now is edifying our energy, our knowledge, and hearing from spirit on how to move and how to help people navigate through what's about to happen. Not everybody is able to deal with change. And this level of change that is coming is on a whole, there's gonna be some of the most shocking things to come about. Revelations, things coming out the sky. And they're gonna to need to understand what's going on. There's gonna be a lot of death. Please understand that. Not only for just different people who are known, but people who are close to us. Death. Because these things got to end. The reckoning is here. For anybody or anything that have sown bad seeds, that have put in bad work, that have, that have maliciously harmed or hurt or maimed or spoken of people and, and did things to hurt others, you are in a hell of fucking trouble. You're about to pay for it. Hence the reason we're seeing what we're seeing. For those of you who have put in the work, who have prayed and cried, who have tirelessly helped others, who have given when you didn't have any, any much of your own to even give, those windows in those storehouses are being raised and it's about to pour into your lives. I decree and I declare, declare it to be so. Women who walk upright, who walk connected to spirit, you're about to be placed in your rightful place. People, before this was a patriarchal society, it was matriarchal. Please understand that. That's why every person that was ever born was female before the decision came to convert to male. Women was all, were always first in everything from the beginning. That is about to be put on display. And that is why a lot of men have a hard time dealing with the thought of having a female president. Here's the deal. You're not going to have a fucking choice. Because this is the coming of age. This is the coming of the rightful order of things being put back into place. Y'all had it for so long. Look what you did with it. After you took it from us. That's a whole nother story. So this rightening is happening right now. Those who resist, it's going to be harder for you. Those who support, you'll be blessed for it. Because you're blessing divine order. I think that's it. I've got to go, but I, I am back in doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Ashe.